Welcome to Introduction to Autism, brought to you by Mindroom. This short film aims to increase awareness and understanding of autism, a complex and often misunderstood condition that affects how people think, communicate and interact with the world. Autism is estimated to affect 1% of the population, or roughly 700,000 people in the UK. Males are three times more likely to be diagnosed than females, but it is believed that women are underdiagnosed. The cause of autism is unknown, but it often runs in families. It is present from birth and lasts a lifetime, but an individual's traits may change as they mature and develop. Autism is not a disease or illness and there is no cure or treatment, but some people may require support in specific areas. Early recognition and effective support can greatly improve mental health, well-being and overall quality of life. Autism occurs across the full range of intellectual abilities and it is estimated that around 4 in 10 autistic individuals will also have an intellectual disability. Being denied access to early support can hinder academic potential, which can harm a person's life outcomes. Autism is a spectrum condition, encompassing a wide variety of traits and characteristics. It affects people in different ways. Some people have complex support needs that significantly impact their quality of life, while others may only require support in specific areas. Autism often co-occurs with other neurotypes, such as dyspraxia and dyslexia. This overlap highlights the importance of taking a personalised approach when exploring support needs. In this section, we will explore the common features associated with autism, but it's important to remember that every autistic individual has their own unique profile of challenges, differences, strengths and abilities. The complex social rules associated with typical verbal communication styles can often be difficult for autistic individuals to understand and navigate. Being direct, concise and literal is often appreciated as your autistic colleagues may have difficulty interpreting body language, facial expressions, tone of voice, idioms or sarcasm. It is also helpful to be very clear about expectations and outcomes. Some autistic people may have a strong preference for written or visual communication, so being willing to adapt your style is often beneficial. Many autistic individuals find eye contact distracting, uncomfortable or even painful, and minimal eye contact often helps them concentrate. Some autistic colleagues may be highly socially anxious due to their past experiences, whereas others may be highly sociable and extroverted. Your autistic colleague may display repetitive movements known as stimming. Stimming can manifest in many ways and can often help with focus, concentration and emotional regulation. Autistic colleagues may prefer consistent work patterns or have specific routines. If changes are necessary, providing advance notice or, where required, additional support is usually welcome. Autism can affect the processes that help to plan and complete tasks, focus attention, manage time, use working memory and regulate impulses and emotions. Although these aspects of autism can complicate daily life, many autistic individuals will have developed a variety of strategies and coping mechanisms to manage them. Autistic individuals often have heightened sensory sensitivities that can result in a strong preference for, or aversion to, specific sounds, light, touch, tastes or smells. Autistic individuals may mask or camouflage their traits in the workplace to avoid drawing unwanted attention or to fit in with the team. Whilst this can be effective, it can also lead to exhaustion, anxiety and burnout. Living in a world that is not designed to cater to the needs of autistic individuals can have detrimental effects on mental health. Autistic people often report experiencing a sense of isolation, stigma and misunderstanding, leading to a decline in their self-esteem and self-confidence. Consequently, 
This can result in elevated levels of stress, anxiety and depression. Under the Equality Act, autism is usually classified as a disability, providing protection against discrimination and harassment. Employers are required to make adjustments to remove barriers and support autistic individuals in the workplace. To provide effective support for autistic employees, it is essential to develop personalised support packages that take into account their unique needs and strengths. This may involve offering remote or flexible working arrangements, making sensory adjustments and providing adjusted job descriptions to enable individuals to focus on their specialist skills. It's important to recognise that, in addition to their challenges and differences, many autistic employees bring a range of talents, skills and abilities to the workplace. For instance, many autistic individuals have a deep understanding and expertise in one or more subjects and are often highly qualified specialists. While many autistic individuals excel in fields such as science, technology, engineering and maths, not everyone has skills in these areas. Some individuals will have strong visual or musical skills and perform well in artistic and creative roles. Autistic individuals perceive the world differently owing to their cognitive differences. This allows them to approach problems from a unique perspective and identify patterns and connections that may not be immediately apparent to others. Many autistic individuals are highly productive employees and work well alone due to their ability to hyperfocus and concentrate for extended periods. Most of your autistic colleagues simply want understanding and acceptance. Here are five ways you can support inclusive practice. It's important to understand that autism affects individuals in unique ways and they are the experts on their condition. Listen to their experiences and respect their preferences on language, disclosure and support. Being flexible and open to doing things differently can make a big difference for your autistic colleagues, for example, by adjusting your communication techniques or making sensory changes. Too often, Discussions about autism in the workplace focus solely on challenges and perceived deficits, which perpetuate stigma and limits opportunity. It's important to have a balanced conversation that explores and recognises a person's strengths and specialist skills. This video provides a brief overview of autism, but there is much more to learn, so educate yourself. Challenge your assumptions, challenge the assumptions of others, and remember Awareness means very little without acceptance and action. We all have a part to play in creating a supportive and inclusive culture where everyone feels valued. Become an ally to your neurodivergent colleagues, show a willingness to learn and model behaviours that promote trust, empathy, understanding and dignity. The change starts with you. For further information on Autism in the Workplace or our Neuroinclusion at Work programme, please contact Mindroom.